So today I'm sharing with you how to plan your wedding using Trello and we use Trello for every element of our business but actually it's an amazing tool that you too can use that is actually free. There are upgrades if you want them but you will manage to be able to plan your wedding with the free Trello account. So first thing is you need to create your Trello account. Uh, so simply hit the sign up and then from here, you can either connect it with your Google account, Microsoft or Apple, or obviously pop in your email address. So if you go ahead and do that as your first starting point. So once you've created your account, you're going to receive a welcome message. You want to verify your email address now. Mine went into spam, so just check it's not in your spam so you can verify your email address. And name your team. Now, this is something that you can change at a, late, at a later date. Um, so I'm going to put call this wedding planning. And as I say, you can change it. Select an option. We're just going to put other. Here, add your team members. This is where if you choose to, you could collaborate with a partner or a supplier, but you can also add these in at a later date. And then just hit continue. Now, it's going to obviously try and upgrade you. So if, um, it might be that you want to start with that business class, which I would do because you do not need the business class in order to create your Trello wedding planning journey. So hit this start without business class. Feel free to upgrade if you wish. But right now, I'm telling you, you don't need to. Nice work. Wedding planning is ready for action. Let's go. So here it's going to give you little um, getting started, what you can do with all of that. If we hit boards on the side, they've put in pulled through some sample boards for you that you could use. So we just cross that off and now we can begin with creating our own boards. So here is a collection of boards that I've already pre-created that what I'm going to allow you to do is if you hit the link in the description, you can copy these over. Um, so each collection, each team, so I've called this one the Outdoor Wedding Hub um, or Outdoor Wedding Planning, whatever you choose to call your team, you're allowed so many boards within that team. And each board is almost like a mini project that you're going to be working towards. So for a wedding, I've created um, your guest list just here. Guest village here, seating plan, styling, suppliers, timeline and to do. And to create a new board, you might have an element that you want to create that isn't something that we've pre-created for you. Let's say honeymoon. We're just going to create new board. You're going to give it a title. And then you can change whatever background image you want it to use. And it comes with some pre um, preloaded um, backgrounds. If you want to upload a, um, your own personal background, then that does mean that it will be an up, part of an upgrade package for you. But I think the um, images that they provide are pretty nice. Or you could go with plain colour too. So this now is your honeymoon board. So if we go back to the main Trello hub, we can see now we've got our honeymoon board within our outdoor wedding planning hub. Now you know how to create your own board. So think of this as your own mini projects that's building that bigger picture of your wedding and your wedding planning. What I'm going to show you now is the pre-made boards that I've created and let's go and dive straight in and have a look at our guest list. So within your guest list board, I've created a list. So we can see here, this is where we'd add a list. Um, so these have all been pre-created for you. So guest list, and if you click on, it gives you a little talk through of how to do it and also little tips and advice about what that is. So if you're anything like me, you've had your guest list typed up and written down for some time, um, you like to create lists. So what we're gonna do to make life a little bit easier is copy that from the document that you've got, if it's a Word document, and you're gonna add another card and you're gonna paste it in. So there's all your names now posted pasted in to your Trello board. And if you hit enter, it's going to say, do you want to just create one card or do you want to create 10 cards? If you've obviously pasted 100 names, it's going to create 100 cards. So I've just typed up 10. 
the purpose of showing you and we're going to create 10 cards. There we go. So this is our, the guest that we choose to invite. Now your plan B, we've popped this on here. Again, I've put a little description of what that's all about. That's those guests that you would really like to be a part of your day, but actually maybe there isn't space for them. And realistically, you need somebody to drop off the A list so that a B list can uh, jump in there. So keep a little note of those two. Evening guests, so who you're inviting in the evening. So the great thing of creating these individual cards is that when somebody does RSVP to you, what we're now going to do is be able to move them to say yes or no. So simply by selecting them and dragging those over, we can start to see what's happening with our guests and whether they're replying yes or replying no. So we can got a visual picture there of who's coming along. So back to our main screen, so our boards here. The next list that I want to show you is your seating plan. Now you're not going to be touching your seating plan to a lot sort of closer to. You might start looking this, looking at this sort of six months at the earliest um, out from your wedding. So don't worry too much about this, but I just wanted to show you this for the purpose of showing you what to do when you get to this point. Um, so here's our seating plan board. So we've created all of our tables, so table, top table, table one, table two, so however many tables you are having. So we've gone up to table nine there. Um, but what we want to do is add some guests. So actually what I'm gonna do to start with is go back to our guest list and all our RSVP yes, the three dots in the top right hand corner, I'm going to copy this list. So copy list, we've got a copy of this now. Now what we're going to do is move it. So move list and it's saying where. So we want it to go onto the um, seating plan board and it's saying what position, so which order. So if that's position one, two, three, which order do you want that to appear on seating plan board? And I'm gonna pop it into position one and just hit move. So you can see that's now disappeared from this board and if we click through onto our seating plan board, here it is, it's replied. So now that what this is allowing us to do, as it was with our RSVPs, is to move our guests onto the tables. So we can create our top table and our guest tables once you've started to receive the majority of your RSVPs back. Um, and that's then how you would move your guests around onto the tables when you're creating your seating plan. And once you've dealt with your RSVP yes, and you might not want this on here anymore, click in the three dots and you could then archive that list once you've moved everybody over. So that's a little viewpoint of how you can create your seating plan using Trello. So come into our main boards again. Before you've hit your seating plan, you're obviously going to need your suppliers and who it is that you're working with. So we've got a whole supplier board here. So before you even engage a supplier to work in with them, you obviously need to do a little bit of research of who it is that you want to work with. So what we've put here is the different sort of categories for an outdoor wedding. So you're gonna need a venue stroke site, so somewhere to put your structure, different structures. So I've popped on the Sami TP teepees and sail cloth there, something that we offer. Daytime catering, evening catering, bar and drinks, utility items, music, hair, makeup, attire, so what you're going to be wearing. And any of the supplies you can obviously add and create your own list just by hitting that here. So I've popped on a couple of uh, examples for you. So in the music one, I've popped on Ent Entertainment Nation. Simply they're a band agency where you can go and search for hundreds of thousands of different bands and, and listen to them. So I've popped that one on there as a start point for you. I've also, as before, added in some resources even for you. So ideas and information to kickstart your outdoor wedding planning and also a little note of things to consider. Um, so there's lots of little notes and snippets of information there that's going to help you with planning your own outdoor wedding. So 
When we find a caterer, for example, that we really love, what we want to do is add them to the card. So what we've done here. So, so to do that, what you're going to do is go and find your caterer's website. Once you've found your caterers that you like the look of and feel you want to work with, what we're going to do then is add them to our board. Now I've found three caterers here um, for you that we work closely with that all offer outdoor um, wedding options. So simply highlight their URL and I'm holding down my left key and sort of dragging that so we can see I've got that URL and what we're going to do is drop that now into our Trello board. So I'm going to show you that. So here we have our board. So grabbing all of the URLs that we found and as we've said just dropping it just below the boards. If it lands in the wrong place, it really doesn't matter. We can move them around. So waiting for the magic to happen. There we go. So caviar on chips, it's pulled through an image. Some websites, it doesn't pull through an image, but it doesn't matter whether it does or doesn't. Obviously, it looks nicer with an image. Um, but what we can do then is we've got those suppliers. So we've got a reference point of the suppliers that we're reaching out to that we like so far. So that's then when you can start keeping your suppliers and your supplier research all on your suppliers board. Um, and it's really simple, as I've just shown you then, to drag and drop. And then once you've then finalize your supplies, those supplies that you're not working with, you can simply delete them off. Just by hovering over it, we can see this little pencil um, mark here. We click on that and then we can just archive the board as simply as that. So that's then once we've decided they're not the supply for us, we can start moving them moving them off. If you wanted to keep, say, a research, research board, um, so just in case something went wrong and you needed a plan B supplier, it might be that what you do is create another bit, um, a list here, um, plan B, and that's where you add in all your research so that if anything comes in and you need to find a backup supplier, at least you've got a list of all the initial research that you did um, and it's there to hand and simply just there. Now, hopefully you don't need plan Bs, but it's always good to have them. Okay, so part of your supplier board, something that I added on here was utility items. Depending on your venue or your site that you hire, you may not need these. So generally for an outdoor wedding, you're going to need toilets and generator as an absolute minimum. Um, and so I've put a little bit of information in here about that for you. Um, so just to help with your outdoor wedding planning. So that information is there if you click through to utility items. And now what we're going to dive into is our styling board. What I've done again is little resources and ideas here for you um, to help kickstart that. And suppliers, just like we have on our supplier board, we can pop in the suppliers that we love and would like to work with. So suppliers for styling might obviously include a stylist, but also somebody that does um, cake. Don't to overlook that as part of your styling. Um, it could also be the florist, stationery. So it really is a team that come together to create that overall look for you. But also here, this is where you can create sort of, once you've been active on Pinterest and maybe even Instagram and save lots of images that you love, you might start to kind of drop them onto your styling board so that when you meet with a supplier, you can, you've can you got that information condensed and you can show them sort of examples of what it is that you're looking for. Um, so I'm going to add a card here and I want to add an image. So if we click into the card that we've called cake, we're going to attach and we're going to upload that from wherever it is that we've saved it. So I found this image um, on Instagram. So if you find an image on Instagram of things that you love, what I suggest that you do is um, also make a note of, um, so by screenshotting it, I've got that information, also making a note of who that supplier is, so that if that's actually the product you love, the supplier that you love, at least then you've got an easy way to sort of go back to them. So if we click out of that, we can see that that's added that image there. Now, if we didn't want that to be our cover, um, we could remove it from the cover, but the image is still there. So if we click out, we can see the image isn't there now, 
but we've still got that information just there. And if we click on that, it will bring through a larger view for us so we can see the information there um, that we need. Looking at all of our boards, here is our timeline and our to-do list. Now, as we said, it might be that what you want to do is invite, so that we've got this little invite um, button here, um, your partner so that they can, too can work on this with you um, so that you both know where you're at and what needs to be done. So I've popped on um, sort of an outline of timeline that you should be, could be working towards. Um, and I'm going to show you a few additional tricks of things that you can do with these. So choose your wedding date. I'm going to start with that one there. So if we click on that, um, there's a few things that we can do with this. So we can add a label and the labels are coloured. So if we just put a green label in there for now, but what does that actually mean to us? So we can now, if we click on labels again, with the little pencil mark, we can put um, a title to that label. So let's hit save. And you can see it's now put done over it. So now we can see that that is now complete. So if we write guest list, let's click on that. So let's give that a label. We'll make this one yellow. We're going to tick the pencil and we'll put in progress. Save. So we can see now visually with our labels um, where we're up to with particular tasks. Um, so I'm also going to show you how we can actually diarise these and sort of make a calendar view of it. So right guest list, you might agree that you've got a due date to do this. So we're going to hit due date and we're going to give it, um, give ourselves until just before Christmas to be able to do that. There we go. So now we can see a little clock's appeared to tell us when we've sort of set that deadline by. So by setting a deadline, and you might go through and set a few deadlines just for the month and period that you're working in, so it's not too overwhelming, so just kind of take it in bite-sized chunks. If we click on this little tab here where it says boards, and we change this to calendar, now what we can see is a calendar. So all your deadlines will pull through on that particular board through to your calendar. Um, so let's look at next month. So as we scroll through, write guest list. So if we click on that, it now takes us through to that board. So we've kind of got a calendar view there, which makes it a little bit more visual to see how long we've got to do what it is that we've set ourselves up. To do so earlier we created our own board something else that we wanted adding to our outdoor wedding hub which was honeymoon so if we click through this is empty of everything and anything so it really is there for you to be able to create what it is that you need from this board so something that i wanted to show you was you might have a to-do list and if we add a card to this What we can add to this is an actual checklist. So simply then, so there's our checklist. Um, we so what we're going to do now is type up the items that we want to do as part of getting honeymoon ready. So check passports. We want to make sure that they're in date. Once you've kind of gone through, and this will work for any board that you're working on, um, you've created now a checklist. You can rename that checklist to whatever you want it to be called and hit save. And then as you've done these items, you can tick those off and we can see the little progress chart going up there to say, yes, we've done all that. Um, so things to do, we can see we've done three of three from the checklist that we've created. Um, so that's another way to help you visualize plans and activities and where you're up to with your wedding planning. Easier. Something that's going to make life a little bit easier is an extension to Trello. 
called um, trellists. Um, and this is a Chrome extension. Now, as you can see, this is added. So what I'm going to do is show you what that does to, um, to our Trello boards. And you can see whether that's going to add value to you and what it is that you're doing with Trello for your own wedding. Here I am on our timeline board. And this here is what that Chrome extension has pulled through. And we might find it overwhelming to see everything that we need to be doing. So we might just want to see sort of a, a few stages of he ahead of what it is we need to be working on. So we might choose to hide these. So just by clicking on them, it's grayed them out on that bar, but also it's hiding them. So it's not deleted them. You can just hit show all and it'll pull them all back through for us. Or we could just highlight some off and then say we wanted the day before adding in. So this is how you can hide a few boards so you're not feeling overwhelmed of the enormity of what you need to create. Because let's be honest, this is wedding planning. We're not doing it in a day. It's a journey. It's something that you're doing over time. So that little Chrome extension will allow you then to add in this little toolbar here. So back to our main screen where all our boards are saved. And we can see we've got our recently viewed boards here. Um, but if you start creating lots of boards, as we can see as part of the free account, um, I think it's 10 boards that were allowed within one team. So the team being the outdoor wedding hub or outdoor wedding planning, whatever you choose to, to call that. Um, but we might just be focusing on a couple of things. And that couple of things might be that what we're, what we're focusing on is our guest list. So if we hover over in the right hand bottom corner, there's a star that appears. So if we star that, and we might also be focusing on suppliers, then these starred boards here will jump to the top. So it just makes it a little bit easier to find what it is that we're working on at that moment in time. So I'm back now at the new Trello account that we created at the beginning of this video. So if you're new to Trello, this is potentially what your Trello account and Trello boards look like, and it's empty. So you can go ahead and create the boards from scratch, or what I'm going to show you now is to how to copy the boards that we pre-created that you can use as a baseline. So you can use those, you can tweak them, but at least it's gonna boost and kickstart your outdoor wedding planning using Trello. So how we're going to do that is the links are in the description below. So you're going to click on one of those, which will open up the um, board. And from there, I'm going to show you how to copy that over onto your own Trello account. So here we have the Trello um, board for the guest list. So this is everything that we looked at earlier. And in the top right hand corner, we can see show menu. And from here, it says more. And we're going to copy board and we're going to call it what we want to call it. So whatever's relevant to your um, wedding planning, I'd say use guest list as it's quite um, descriptive of what it is. And then what team? So where do you want this to go? Now, we've only got one. Um, so that will be if you've got more teams and we called our teams on our own account wedding planning. So we're going to press um, create. And now what we can see is that's pulled them all over into our own Trello account. So if I show you, we can see here, there we go, there is the guest list board now. So if we go ahead and we can do that for all the boards that are relevant to what we want for our own wedding planning um, journey using Trello. Hopefully you found this really helpful. Um, if you've got questions, comments, any feedback, please feel free to pop that down below. Um, thanks for watching and have fun planning your own outdoor wedding using Trello. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was put together with you in mind to help you plan your own outdoor wedding. For more tips, hints, ideas, hit subscribe. We've got lots more for you. I'm Jodie. Thank you for watching. I look forward to uh, sharing more with you soon.